so popular, blowing up. It was on my friend's Christmas like newsletter that she listened to. <laughs> wow. Do you just have people come up to you telling you gruesome stories? Or yeah, <laughs> yeah we do. It's the best because it's all we ever wanted in life, and now <laughs> and like we had to keep it secret, and now people just come up and tell us horrifying stories, say thanks, and then walk away. And it's like the best. Yeah. When did you guys first bond over the fact that you were into murderers? There had to have been a moment. <laughs> there was a moment. Um, we were actually at a party, and I was I was actually telling a horrible story about something that had happened to me in Austin that I thought people would really like to hear <laughs> at a party. Um, and instead of that, they were like, turning away and horrified and then across the room Georgia who I think we'd met maybe once yeah. before or something but we weren't like friends just came like across and was like you have to tell me every word about what and it was the most satisfying because I was like I thought people would really like that story it's kind of interesting it's good party chatter and it wasn't but it was to her. I was immediately like, this is the party talk I've always wanted. Let's make it happen. <laughs> it was great. Let's say if somebody binges a whole bunch, maybe on a long car trip like I did, what's a good <laughs> palate cleanser, you think, for post listening to lots of serial killers? Oh, that's like all I do. <laughs> I think cat. More serial killers. Yeah. Insta like cat Instagram photos this is about all I can... I always say Bob's Burgers oh, is yeah. the per or Modern Family. It's like just the perfect like things are nice, people are nice, people love each other, things are good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Probably no murder. No, I, I would hope not that I can remember now. <laughs>